Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are playing on iOS, so I thought I'd do a live premiere. I might sound a little bit different to normal. <laughs> anyway, today's my birthday, as I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title. Yep, that one day older makes you feel great, doesn't it? So today, <laughs> I am, um, I've turned 35 today. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about it. Anyway, I was hoping to do a live stream, um, and I was going to use the face cam and mic and stuff, but uh, I got a little bit of a problem, and the problem is, is that uh, I've I've got COVID. So because I got COVID, there's there's times where one minute I feel fine, and then I'm sweating out, uh, then I'm not feeling so good, then I'm feeling all right, and then I'm not. So I thought I'd do a premiere instead. Just uh, so that way I can kind of still communicate with you guys. But anyway, I am here in sunny San Delta. Sunny San Delta. Oh, it's a, more of a cloudy one here today. But anyway, I've got the two heavy chasers. I've been I've been quite enjoying playing on iOS. I'm kind of... Don't worry, though. We've got plenty more videos to come. But I'm kind of coming to the end of max level now. So the max top level on iOS is level 50. I'm hoping at some point they do change that and they do bring out the updates so that way we can go up to level 80 because, of course, on PS4 and on PC on Steam, I'm max level on both of them accounts at level 80. I hope to... Yeah, I do hope to hit level 80 on ios at some point but anyway until then we're gonna keep on fishing it out i'm now level 49 or halfway through level 49 as you can see there and uh i haven't really brought much difference well i say i haven't brought much difference i haven't brought anything different from the last video that we made me being level 48 i've still got the same rod stand and stuff i want to wait till i hit level 50 and then I'll buy the four rod stand holder um, with the bite alarms. But for now, I'm going to fish with these. So I've got the heavy chaser on there. Let's quickly show you that rod setup just in case you want to copy it. I'll leave it there for a moment. So if you are new around here, I can give you a better reason to hit that subscribe button if you like fishing planet. I've been playing this game for a little over six years now. And uh, when there's updates, I'll let you guys know. I'll always live stream with Facecam and Mike when those new lakes come out. Showing you new lakes, new hotspots, how and where to catch fish. Completing all new missions. And of course, we do have completed all normal missions and fish monster missions. We do have a playlist of Just Fishing Planet. That's a good reason to hit that subscribe button. 400 plus videos. Yeah, I've been, I've been busy on Fishing Planet, if I'm honest, but it's... It's one of those things that I always come back to because, uh, you know, I like a lot of different games and stuff. And every now and again, I try and mix it up and put e-bikes and e-scooters and stuff like that onto the channel to, you know, just kind of fr kind of freshen it up a little bit, doing doing something different. Now, most of you guys probably would prefer if I only played Fishing Planet and nothing else. But by me doing that, I feel like I'm not making entertaining content that way i feel like that you guys would get bored of it so i always feel like i have to freshen it up a little bit and sometimes put out different types of videos but i definitely do love playing this game even more so for the fact that it's on ios because today on a day like this where it's my birthday and i should be enjoying myself i'm kind of sitting here feeling a little bit rough uh, i'd say more than rough um yeah I've had it now for, I caught COVID last Friday, so I've had it for seven days, and then I don't know, it's just some days I feel back to normal, I feel like I am me, and then I have days where I'm just feeling where I'm not so good, and today's probably one of those days where, yeah, I'm just not feeling, not feeling 100%, but once I get back on the mend, we are doing another... We'll do, a, we'll do another live stream and I will actually add my face cam into it and stuff. But I just look rough as hell right now. You probably wouldn't want to see it, to be honest. <laughs> but hair's a mess. Oh, gosh. Well, anyway. Fishing for some carp is always a thing that I love to do on Fishing Planet. 
I do love fishing for the striped bass as well. They're pretty good, but for this for this one, I thought we'll uh, we'll get some carp. And now, when I've been making these videos on iOS, I've said it throughout some of the videos, but in case you've missed some, I I'm not making any edits now. I make edits when I'm on PS4, and obviously I make edits when I'm on the PC and stuff. But for the for the iOS, I haven't been making any edits at all because I wanted to try and keep things natural. So however long it's taking me to catch a fish, that's kind of how long it's going to take for you guys to catch a fish. That's the best way. And going for carp is a very good way to earn some serious fast XP in cash. At the minute, just to mention, my cash flow is kind of low. I've been... Uh, I've been doing a lot of upgrades on my electric e-bike and it's definitely cost me a short penny. So at the moment I'm running I'm playing the game without without any premium. I'm still using the the barbless hooks so obviously it helps me get that little bit more XP. But I definitely do recommend for you guys to get premium as well if you want to get fast cash. You want to get quick XP, definitely get premium. Now, I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any way to say that. It's just my personal opinion of playing this game for such a long time. You know, everyone is always interested in the quickest ways to level up, the quickest ways to get cash. And by far, yeah, premium is a 50% of a difference. It really does make a very big difference. So, yeah fishing for carp using sweet corn up there as you can see or if not just using corn is just as good and then same goes as for the peas or the sweet peas either way they're both just as good and they're both pretty cheap baits so if you're fishing for carp using the uh the peas or the corn is definitely a good way to go for sure it doesn't cost very much you get i think it's like 50 you get for 50 coin uh corn for 50 corn for like 200 yeah 200 cash now sometimes it can cost you a little bit more um like 300 if you're buying it from here and you're not going back to the main menu but even still at 300 for 50 pieces of bait well that's that's 50 fish i can catch that's that's quite a bit so on this one, as you can see, I've got corn on here. I've got 468 corn. <laughs> and that's because, as I said, they are quite cheap to buy. So I just buy a ton of it. I come here into Sandauer. But I'm quite looking forward to it. I've got half a level to go. Unfortunately, I am, am going to... I am... I can't even talk. I am going to have to end up... Um, I'm going to have to end up fishing this last this last half a level without premium i just as i said the cash flow is low i just i don't even have money to buy a day premium at this point yeah anyway as you can see over here uh, we got subscribers that we've added on fishing planet and they're fishing with us so that's quite nice you guys as well if you if you got ios or you're playing on pc on steam or even if you're playing on ps4 well, then uh, you're more than welcome to add me. I don't have Xbox, unfortunately. A lot of people have asked me about that before, and I, I kind of was thinking about getting um, Xbox going and starting from level one on Xbox. But for the fact that at the moment I'm now playing on iOS, I'm running three different accounts. So, yeah, I'm playing on PC on Steam, I'm playing on PS4 and on iOS. I don't fancy playing on Xbox as well, just because that would be my full, fourth account. And it does get a little bit expensive, if I'm, if I'm honest, because, of course, for me to make these videos, I've got to earn a lot of cash. And um, it sometimes it does cost me quite a lot of bait coins, which, of course, I spend my real money on. So, yeah, running three accounts is probably enough for me. I'm not saying I'm never going to go to Xbox, but I definitely don't plan on it uh, anytime soon. Also, this game is meant to be available on uh, Android, and it was meant to be out by now, but it looks like it still isn't, which, again, is a little bit of a pain for those who are on Android, but 
yeah, I guess I guess iOS is the uh is the way to go. I've always been an Apple guy to be honest myself. I got like an Apple iPad Mini Two or something like that. It's quite old. Uh, then obviously, the iPhone that I'm playing on is an iPhone Twelve Pro. Uh, one twenty eight gig for anyone who is interested. But of course, you can play this on a lower end iPhone or even a newer iPhone. This this game's been running really smooth. Like, incredibly smooth. It's been running really well. I, I, I've i had the odd, tiny little bit of freeze here and there. But it's only been for the odd, like, second or so. Not really much at all. And then, um, wow, well, look, just, yeah, just look at the picture quality. You know, we're playing, we're playing on a mobile right now. That's, that's insane for the picture quality to be, to be that good. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. It actually does look better. And I've said it a lot of times. It's because it really does look better than what it does on PS4. And the other pain about PS4 is that um, the blue screening. The blue screening. Oh my gosh, yeah, that would drive me crazy. So I've been enjoying playing it on, on iPhone. And even more so now for the fact that having COVID... <sighs> Just you just feel drained all the time, physically, mentally. No, I, I I work out, but it feels like I've I haven't worked out today, but yet <laughs> it feels like I've been working out. My yeah, my muscles are really aching. So uh, yeah, I've, hopefully you guys out there are keeping yourself safe, and just because the COVID part thing has worn down a little bit still be aware of course you're still able to catch it so yeah try and keep your hands clean and still try and keep a little bit of distance between people here and there <clears throat> so the bottom sniper rod the one which is what i have in my hand i didn't show you this setup uh i've showed you in other videos but i'll show you in this one just in case you are new around here don't forget to smack that like button as well, guys. It lets us know that you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. I've been trying to upload videos every day of all different stuff. So sometimes if I've been missing it recently, which I've missed a day here and there, you know why. Because I've just not been feeling very good. So anyway, there is the bottom sniper rod setup that I've got going. Makes you feel short of breath a lot as well. Like you've been puffing on 60 fags. Not that I would do that, but still. Anyway, um, so that rod setup is a 31 pound rod setup there. And we have the Hornet Swamp 6000 reel on there, which is 24.2 drag. And then I got a 33.3 pound braid with the, of course, the four art hook. Now I'm using a X series four art, but it doesn't matter if it's X series, as long as you're using a barbless hook, it's gonna obviously help you get that little bit more XP. So I'm on day six, how much cash we got now? 447,795, so not far away from half a mil, but the thing is, for me, it sounds like a lot of money for some of you guys. Now, with that sort of money you could buy, when you get to level 50, you could buy all the best rods, which are the heavy chases at the moment, as it stands, um, for level 50 anyway. Yeah, you could buy the better heavy chases, you could buy better reels, of course, the better rod stand with the four bite alarms. Also a bigger net and of course bigger backpack and yeah there's a lot more different things that you can buy when we get to level 50. But I'm probably not going to bother to buy any of the better rods because the best leaders that I'm able to buy is 50 pound leaders. And for the heavy chaser I think the, be the better one I think it goes up to 57 pound. So if I put on a leader at 50 pound... I'm going to end up breaking off quite a lot. So 
I'm probably not going to bother to upgrade the the rods until the max level changes. Once the max level changes, I possibly will then. There it is, common carp. She looks very happy there. She had a big smile on her face, didn't she? Now let's grab that. So we got 230 pounds in the net. I did do a little bit of fishing just before we started. Cool, I tell you, I know I've missed that premium. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I can get it again at some point soon because I don't want to, if I can help it, I don't want to fish too, too much without premium because getting that extra cash. Of course, I've been doing those videos of 30 days in each lake and I've still got many lakes left to cover yet. And I've already made a few videos. I just got to upload them. But um, yeah, my plan is to fish 30 days in every single lake because of course that is how we get the, the X-Series stuff. And I've been ticking it off. I've got a list, I've got a, I've got a book that I've been ticking off one by one of lakes that I've been covering 30 days of. But I'm only gonna be able to do that up to, to level 50, of course, at the minute. But after level 50, once they do level it up and stuff, Hopefully then we can continue to keep fishing those other lakes for 30 days. That's the plan anyway. But as what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to be doing quite a bit of fishing in Weeping Willow. Now, when you hit level 50, that's the lake that you unlock. And that is where it is carp madness. Now here we get common carp, whereas if in the other place... In Weeping Willow, we can get leather carp, mirror carp, grass carp, common carp. The, yeah, there's there's quite a few ranges of carp that we can go for. So at, at, at the moment, that's just uh, my main priority to get to level 50. And then we'll make another video at level 50. Obviously, me showing you that I've hit level 50 and I'm definitely going to buy the rod stand. That's That's a fact. I don't know about the, the rods as of yet. Probably not with the rods, but and then we're going to do probably one or two videos of me fishing in Weeping Willow because it's definitely been a short moment since I used to fish there. I probably will end up buying... Probably I'll, I'll probably end up buying a carp rod, to be honest, I think, because I remember using the carp ranger rod in Weeping Willow was... Uh, was quite a nice nice rod to use so yeah uh either that or the oh what was the other one it's been a short minute come on bubbles think deep horizon yeah either either the carp range or the deep horizon rod either one of those or i might end up buying one of each i don't know we'll see but um yeah i'm looking forward to getting into weeping willow not just that, but uh, we can catch a lot, quite a lot of uniques in one day. So I definitely want premium for that because I'm going to need that a lot of cash. Now, I'm not going to bother to buy a DLC for this on iOS because I always buy DLCs for the PC for the new lakes and showing you guys that. So, yeah, probably am. And yeah, I, I'll always buy it for the PC, but yeah, I'm not going to bother to buy it for, for the PS4 because I don't normally bother to. I grind it out on the PS4 when it gets to max level, I grind it out. And then for the iOS, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to I'm just gonna grind it out because it gets expensive running free accounts. When I'm buying premium for iOS, buying premium for PS4, buying a year premium for PC... And then that's not including me buying bait coins and a DLC on the new PC for the new map that drops. So yeah, as you can imagine, it's not a it's not a cheap thing. <laughs> it's not so bad for for you guys, obviously, if you're just running the one account, either, no matter what platform you're on. But yeah, I like to try and play on as many different accounts as possible just so that way it gives other people a chance to play with me as well. Of course, some of you subscribers do like to play with us. So, um, yeah, I, I, that's why I decided to play PC, PS4, and then when it come out on, on iPhone, on Apple, that's what made me go for it, because I just want to try and give you guys that 
a little bit more of an opportunity to play with, with, with me. And you'll see yourself, even though I've been playing for a long time, you know, I, I still wouldn't say that I'm the best. I'm far from it because there's always someone out there who's better than someone else. I don't ever say that I'm better than anyone else. I would say I'm probably just as equal, you know. My dad, he plays this game as well. And a lot of you have seen me and my dad play this game together. And some days I'll pull out uniques all, all, all day long right next to him. And he won't get one. But then sometimes it can be the other way around. He can pull out uniques non-stop. And I... I will be next to him <laughs> and I, I wouldn't get one unique at all. And that's just that's just the roll of the dice, you know. That that's that's fishing in real life. Sometimes you can you can catch a lot of fish and sometimes you can't. It's yeah, it's it's, it's weird how it works like that because you know, we're both using the same line, the same rod, the same bait, the same hook. We're fishing the same location, but yet I will be able to pull out more fish than him. I don't know how that works. I just, uh, yeah, as I say, I think it's just the roll of, of the day. Now, obviously, cloudy days, sunny days, rainy days, all different types of days have different effect on fish. But even if we're fishing the same day, we're both fishing a cloudy day, we're both fishing the same spot, doing exactly the same thing, but yet I will somehow catch more. Or the other way around, sometimes he will he will catch more. Yeah, it's just the way this game works. But I like that because it it kind of shows that everybody's equal, you know. It doesn't matter just because I'm I'm a YouTube guy or, or I can catch more than you. Definitely not. As long as you're fishing the right place, using the right bait, right hook, you'll catch just as quick as me or if not, even more than me. And it's nice that when when I'm fishing... Is that guy gone? Yeah, I think he's moved. Yeah, it's nice when I'm fishing with other people as well because when you fish with other people, you also get to see other things that they catch as well. I like your videos and I just want to say your fishing plant videos help a lot. <clears throat> and of course, you can message people like that as well, which is pretty handy. All right, looks like he's gone now. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, okay, it looks like he's gone offline and I just messaged. But anyway, that was nice of him. <clears throat> so for the iOS, the my name, if you want to add me on Fishing Planet, is YouTube.Bubbles.Way. And it's the same, exactly the same username for, um, for PC on Steam. And then for my PS4 user account name, that is YT as in capitals and then dot bubbles dot way. So you're more than welcome to add me. If I don't add you back straight away, don't worry. Do have patience. Whenever I turn on that PC or PS4, then I load up Fishing Planet or on iOS, whatever. Whenever, whenever I go on to it, I will add you guys back. So yeah, do have a bit of patience and I'll add you back at some point. I'm sure of that. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this going, to be honest, just because, um, as I said at the beginning, I wasn't feeling too great, but uh, it's not just it's not just me who's got the COVID. It's uh, it's me, Mrs. Bubbles, and the, my kids have got it as well. So we kind of we kind of all got it, but I guess it's not too bad because we get to all be in the same house together. Although that now you don't really have to isolate, we are still isolating anyway just because I want to, you know, if I can try and minimise the spread as much as possible, then of course I definitely want to. I don't think it is as bad, the COVID thing, as what it was when it started, but oh wow, do I feel rough. Yeah, I definitely, um, I definitely wouldn't want to pass it on to somebody else, especially... Especially someone with uh, breathing problems or or elderly or anything like that. Someone who's asthmatic. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got another common carp there. I like that we can change it into pitch mode. Look how happy she looks. 
<laughs> she got a big smile. I can see her teeth. I can see her teeth shining where she looks that happy. Looks so different looking at it like that compared to compared to looking at it on on PC. The picture quality though is definitely better than PS4, so that's one good thing. That's that's why I kind of kind of like p playing it more so on iOS, especially when you get the the ripples on the water. And then, like if you're fishing in, I don't think you get rainy days here in Sandow, or at least I've never come across a rainy day. But if you're fishing in a place where it's rain, the uh, the picture quality does look pretty good, if I'm honest. Now we've got a fish on here. We've got another fish on over there. So I started this on iOS from level one. So of course, if you are stuck on on any lake or you're having problems trying to catch fish or you want some tips on leveling up or anything like that, if you look for our playlist, I'm very sure that you'll find there anything that you're looking for, for a certain level or a certain mission. All right, so on this one, this one's the sweet corn. Some of these, even though these rods are uh, quite a bit stronger than the bottom sniper, sometimes they do put up a good fight, some of these these carp, for for the heavy chaser. Yeah, it's quite surprising. But yes, yeah, don't, don't be fooled by the bottom sniper, though. Even though it's only a 31-pound setup, it's still a very strong rod. It still does get the job done. It, it takes a little bit longer to reel in, but you can still reel in those uniques. And then as you can see here, this one's a 53 pound rod set up, the Heavy Chaser. So nearly a 20 pound difference there. Well, there is a 20 pound difference there in strength, but yet you can still pull in a unique on the bottom sniper. Just, just a little more time consuming. And I normally cast anywhere between 109 to about 120 foot. I also sometimes pull out this one. And then I just whip it out there, have a few casts a lot on that. Whilst I'm waiting for one of the other rods to go off. Now, of course, there is a lot of uh, striped bass in here. But I'm not really at the right location for that. But... I have caught some some chin hook salmon from here and I have also had plenty of steelheads as well fishing from this location so it's nice to have a little bit of a mess around with the the lure rod and of course I've had plenty of smallmouth bass on on this spot as well now different lures are going to obviously help but I don't have that many lures for this rod as of yet just because uh i haven't really done too much spinning to be honest i've done i've done quite a lot of uh bait fishing more than anything else now this one seems to work the the spinner bait this one seems to work quite well we don't get a very far cast with it though i think it's like 80 something yeah 81 foot so we don't get very far but if you take the real speed down to one there and then just Press the reel and leave it as automatic. It does the job. I've had uh, quite a few salmon on this one. I would have liked to probably use a lemon medium spoon free or hook. That would have definitely... Yeah, that works like gold in this place in Sandelta. But I'm not really, as I said, I'm not really at the proper right location. And over there as well to my right... I've had some, some over there. I've had some sturgeon over that way. Obviously, that was on bait though, not on the spinner. So you can catch quite a few different fish from this spot. So if you just joined halfway through, thanks for coming into the premiere. I appreciate you guys. As I've mentioned at the very beginning of the video, I wanted to um, I wanted to do a live stream, but because because I got COVID, I just I, I look rough, I feel rough, and uh, yeah, I just wasn't really up for being in front of the camera. But once I feel a little bit better, we will do another, not a premiere. I will actually do a live stream and have a bit more of a chat with you guys because. 
kind of missed that. We went from live streaming every single day to, to making videos. And it's, it's a big difference. It really, really does, yeah, it really does make a big difference. There you go, we got some interest again on that heavy chaser there. The good thing about the live stream is that we can interact and answer questions a lot more. Questions that you wanted to ask or things that you want to know. It's a little bit easier to explain. Now, of course, I can answer questions this way through the premiere because I can reply back through as a message. But when it's live, it just makes it that little bit more easier to, to respond to people and communicate. And of course... Everybody likes to see who's, who's behind the mic, who's always talking. A lot of people like to see that. Most of you guys, though, have seen my boat before, so... <laughs> You've seen my face plenty of times. Unless you're new and you haven't. But yeah, we will, we will eventually, once I'm, I'm feeling a little better, we will get back on um, and we'll do, we'll do a live stream. We'll get the face cam back up and going. Now, there we go. <sighs> We hooked in. That's either a steelhead, which I think it is, or salmon. That's still. There you go, steelhead. Quick little 540 cash there, 65 XP. Now, remember, I don't have premium, so if I did, it would definitely make a, a big difference. Now the bottom snipe is going. So as you can see, the pace of fishing is pretty quick. I'm at 7.39 a.m. I did start at 5 a.m. as well. So, yeah, we're not doing we're not doing too bad. I've definitely noticed that on the on the cloudy days, and sunny and cloudy days, uh, you catch quite a lot. The only days where it does slow down a little bit is on those sunny days. Sometimes sunny days does take a a little bit a little bit longer, but. It still works, and of course, you can always jump time forward. There you go, common carp. So we've got £333 in the net there. I'm going to reel this one in, and then we're going to jump to the next day, and I'm going to show you how much we got for that one day. Now, my biggest fish that I can hold with this net is £132, and then... The, the most uh, most amount of weight I can hold is 485 pounds. So I'm at 332, so I can definitely get another 100 and something odd pound in the net there, but I'm not, I'm not majorly bothered, that's all right. So there we go. As I said, we can also get some chin hook salmon here from this location. So that was nearly 16 and a half pound, 122 XP and 740 cash now that's not bad when you got premium yeah it's definitely a big difference so i could probably fit in the net about a another hundred pound there but we'll jump forward anyway and we'll just show you how much we we're getting per each day most of the time i, I get to around about 350 and then i jump to the next day that's normally what i do so we press day up there and we press next morning two thousand each day there you go. So I got eighteen thousand cash there. That's not too bad, considering I don't have premium. But look at the difference. I, I, normally, I'd be earning twenty-seven thousand one hundred and seventy-four, and the same goes as with the XP five thousand two hundred and twenty-eight to seven thousand nine hundred and thirty-two. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> it definitely is a humongous difference. But um, yeah, when I got some more cash. I need to get more cash. I get some more real money, I mean, not in-game cash. When I got real money, real money, <laughs> then I'll, I'll buy premium again. It's only for this video that I'm fishing like this, just because, um, yeah, I wanted to get a premiere out there and I wanted to have a bit of a chat with you guys. It's nice doing it as premiere as well sometimes. Obviously, it's good for you guys to see my face and stuff. But it's also, yeah, it is also good sometimes doing Premiere because when it's like this, instead of me concentrating on the game, I've already played the game and I can just I can just sit here, watch me play and me, me waffle on like I normally do. 
and I can respond to a lot more comments this way and there's less chance of me missing a comment this way so I think for the rest of my birthday I'm gonna by the time this comes out it'll probably be about my dinner time so I'll probably be either just about to eat dinner or I'll be eating dinner whilst this is going live now then for the rest of the evening I'm gonna probably put on a film and then um, try and drink as much fluids as I can try to get back on the mend again another, another one there that was trophy not bad so I'm not getting nowhere near as much XP in cash as what I normally would for these carp because believe it or not I have farmed the absolute living daylights out of these <laughs> I've, yeah, I've definitely fished for carp for, for a short minute here at this spot. But that's good, though, because it's preparing me and it's getting me ready for for Weeping Willow. Um, yeah, I, as I said, I like catching carp. I like catching striped bass. They're the main two fish that I like catching on Fishing Planet. Now, of course, catching the Nile perch is good fun because they are extremely big fish, but... I do love catching carp. They they put up a good fight. Look at that, 428 XP, 1,189 cash. I definitely would be getting an insane amount more with premium and if I didn't fish for these as much. But the good thing is, is it's quite a fast pace here in San Delta of catching carp. Even though we you can only catch the one type, it's still, yeah, it's still a very false fished catch it doesn't take very long to hook into a carp and for the fact that it earns quick money and it's a quick fast pace of fishing that is exactly what I like I like it to, to be quick and look how fast that was I didn't even manage to get to put that rod the other rod down and we've got another fish on already and I've had quite a few uniques as well, so I'm going to have a check in a minute. We'll see on iOS how many uniques I have gained so far. Now, not that I've even really bothered to target unique fish, but yet I still keep on running into uniques. And probably in total, I'd probably say that I've caught at least one unique per each level, I think maybe, possibly. Which, if that is the case... We should have about 49, about 49 uniques so far. I think so anyway. We'll have a quick look in a minute. So as you can see, back to back, fish on the line, non-stop. It's a great process. There we go. All right, let's have a quick look then. See how many we've gained Oh, wow, a lot more than what I thought. So I was thinking maybe about 49 to 52-ish. We've had a total of 81 uniques, 790 trophies, 3,168 common fish, and then fish caught is 4,039. So a lot, yeah, actually quite a lot more than, than what I, I thought. I didn't think I had that many. I know what had happened. The moment I stop recording, that's going to be the moment that I end up running into another unique. <laughs> it, I just can't seem to get it whilst whilst making videos. As I said, I could I could make edits and obviously save it that way, but I don't want to make any edits on iOS just because I want to keep everything natural. A lot of people have said, have I changed picture quality and stuff like that, improved picture quality or sound or anything? I have not done anything other than what I'm doing here. And the only thing I'm doing here is I'm fishing. I hit record, I fish, I talk to you guys, and then I stop recording. I upload it, that's it. I don't bother to edit the actual video. Which in a way is good because it shows you how good the picture quality is of the game. But then at the same time, it sort of speeds up my process of making videos as well. Because it means that I'm not always sitting there for for a, over an hour or two editing and processing videos. So it's been pretty good for me. So we've got a fish on here, another fish on the other run. The pace of fishing here is insane. 
Especially when you start from 5 a.m. in the morning. Now, I uh, you probably could fish nighttime. You probably could catch these in the night. But I've always fished from early morning because the pace is just so good. And if it's that good, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's an old saying. There we go. That's another one. All right, so I think I'm going to end the video here. And as I said, I did kind of want to do a live stream, but unfortunately, that weren't, I weren't able to do that because uh, COVID got me first. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Do leave your comments in the comment section. I do try my best to respond to every comment. 35 today. Yeah, as I said, I'm not going to talk too much about the age. Every year that goes by, we all get that one little bit older. <laughs> anyway, drop a like and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.